Alright, greetings and salutations. My name is Comic Fire, and welcome back for more Pokemon Black. In this episode, wait, did I heal? Yeah, I healed. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to be taking on the fourth gym leader, Elisa. This is the only match in the game that I fully intend to lose against. And Bossa City gym leader, Elisa, the Shining Beauty. She's hard. This isn't going to be an easy fight. How about it? I can see you're surprised. Did you ever guess that the gym is a roller coaster? Let me fill you in. I'll take this too. So we get a fresh water, like always. In this roller coaster gym, the first step is to get in the car. Next on the platform, then you can change where the coaster is going. Sometimes you continue to continue by riding the cars that the opponents you defeat. That's how you're in for the gym leader. So you hop in here. Hop out of here. It's a little bright. Maybe I should knock out the, uh... Your fashion sense. It's kind of New Town-ish. How odd. I'm from New Town. Challenged by Lady Magnolia. Oh, God. Here we go. Alright, these are Emolgas. They're electric and flying type. They have an annoying move called Volt Switch. Which not only allows them to damage you, it allows them to switch out and send out another Pokemon of theirs. And that went down without a fight. Much of a fight. And what's more annoying is they tend to Volt Switch into other Emolgas, so... Oh, you gotta be joking me. Plus, its ability is static. If you hit it with a physical type move, more than likely, more than likely you'll get paralyzed. And they know paralyzing moves. Oh, they're just trolls in little electric squirrel form. Oh, it's still alive. Ah. Uh... I thought I would switch out. When you switch out, Pursuit can hit you before you manage to switch your Pokemon out, so... Kind of a trolly move. Alright, I'm actually gonna adjust the brightness, because the brightness in this gym is just kind of killing me. And I'm gonna run back to the Pokemon Center and heal up Paige, because Paige is gonna be my main assault force against those Emolgas. Alright, I'll be right back. I also thought I'd show this. Uh, if you have a key item, go into the key item bag and you can assign it to the Y button. After you press the Y button, it'll bring up a little menu and you can choose one of the items you selected. See, back in my day, we only selected one item at a time, but uh, I just prefer to keep my bike there for quick and easy access. Just thought I'd explain that. I had to do it to get to the uh, back to the Pokemon Center anyway. I don't know, there are some jerks online. Like, uh, I got Dragon Warrior 3 off Amazon. And he hacked it to hell and back. And worse, it's... I'm okay with hacking. I can just delete all that stuff. Not only that, it's impossible for me to delete his three hacked save files or save over them, meaning I can't do anything with the game now. Which is just annoying, and that brightness decrease really didn't help at all. I guess I'll just deal with it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Roller coaster's path has been changed. Cool stuff. I think he has Blitzels, but I'm not totally sure. I'm going to bring out a Dig Dug just in case. Welcome, Challenger! I will do you the greatest of honors and accept your challenge. Well, aren't you conceited? Yeah, he's a Blitzel.
Now, Blitzels here show that they can be pretty annoying. Not only do they have their electric type moves, but they also have uh, Flame Charge and Pursuit. Fortunately, they're very, very frail. Roller coaster. Just wait on till the roller coaster comes here. Oh, and there's a trainer in there. Are you cool riding a roller coaster? When you ride a roller coaster, the speed can make you dizzy. I'm gonna make your head spin. <laughs> oh! I'm actually filming in a different location than I normally do. I normally film in my bedroom. That's why I'm filming in the office. Because I can. Also, because I was too late. Like, I got my PS3 in the office, too, and I was playing that. I figured, eh, why not film in here, too? Born out of laziness, mostly. So I'm uploading a little earlier today. We had a two-hour early dismissal from school. It was nice. Of course, people go bad shit insane when uh, we have two-hour early dismissals. Fights all around. It's a pretty like I don't go to the, like I don't really live in a great neighborhood, nor do we have great schools. Supposedly, the school I go to is supposedly one of the worst in the county, but I don't think it's that bad. We just give people a dirty look and they stay away. Thank you, I guess. I don't know if he just called me gay or not. I'm like really homophobic too, I mean... I don't really like that. Like, I'm not homophobic, just that... A lot of the people in the school are. Because it's what I live in for Southern Maryland. Your Nambasa City Challenge is finally nearing its finale! But if you don't beat me, you won't get to meet Miss Elisa! I'm a Pokemon trainer who's toughened up by Miss Elisa. I'll show you power and style befitting this gym. And by that she means she's going to kick our ass, because she probably has a few Emolgas. Or just one Emolga. Not like we can do much anyway. Since it's electric and flying, we don't really have a lot we can do against it. I'm gonna just give it a Fury Swipes and hope we don't get paralyzed. Yep, paralyzed. That didn't do too bad. Maybe if it misses. Or it uses double team. Critical hit. That was impressive. Expecting that. It pleases me to be the opponent of a strong and honorable trainer like you. Oh, bite me. Loop de loop. And there's Miss Elisa. As always, save before you fight a gym leader. And if you're not fully healed, Go to the Pokemon Center, which I'll be doing off-screen, because I'm going to need Dig Dug to be alive for her, so I'll be right back. Oh, by the way, if you press that switch, this uh, roller coaster right here will uh, take you back to the beginning of the gym. Just a little nifty tidbit. Okay. Next off, you're g she's going to lead out with uh, an Emolga, so bring out... Any, any rock type you have, which I think at this point, Paige is the only one you can have. Actually, no, there's a few fossil Pokemon I missed. Anyway, did the fantastic speed leave you dizzy? My beloved Pokemon will be the next one to make your head spin. All right. Comic versus Elisa. All right, this one's gonna be hell. 
Actually, no, Page is a, this Page is a lot stronger than I would have. This Boldor is a lot stronger than the one I had in uh, White. All right, here's that Vault Switch move I told you about. It does special base damage. And so it's just sending another one, which is ridiculous. Good stuff. It's probably gonna Volt Switch into its other Pokemon, though, so I'm a little nervous. And I was right! Blitzel's Evolution. We're shining brilliantly! Oh, it uses Volt Switch, too? Uh, Alright, it's gonna be sending out Emolga. What do I send out? Sineku! Alright, that was a weird move. Alright, check it out. Payback. It does twice as much- damn it. It does twice as much damage if you're attacked before you use it. Now, my other Scraggy in white had an ability called Shed Skin, so if it had any really bad status ailments, it would just shut it off. No hassle. After a few turns. Like, there wasn't a specific amount of turns they needed, uh, that, that they said they needed, but... Doesn't matter. Now we got our Moxie up, so now we can start a sweeps. We can start sweeping. Oh, look at me using Wi-Fi terms. Let's see how you can do. A proper dramatic victory requires a dash of danger and a pinch of peril. Let's use Payback. All right, sorry, Neku. Dig dug. My ace in the hole. Heh, <laughs> hole. Get it? Because it digs. Because it's a mole. And it's going to be using flame charge. <laughs> I don't want this thing alive too much longer, so let's get this thing out of the way, Dig Dug. Yeah! Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to do it on my first time. Yes! Dig Dug wants to learn the move Slash, already knows four moves. Should I forget a move? Yeah, goodbye Fury Swipes. Slash is 70% base power, 100% base accuracy, and has a high critical hit rate. I meant to make your head spin, but you shocked me instead. Hell yeah. My oh my, you have a sweet fighting style. I mean, you're a great trainer. Excuse me, I, uh, oh here, I want you to have this. The bump badge is ours! We have half the gym badges in the universe region. Does that mean we're halfway there? No. No, it doesn't. We've still got a lot to do. If you have four badges, including this Bolt Badge, Pokemon is level 50, including traded Pokemon, will obey you. Also, here's this move I like. Feel free to use it, um, if you want to. Now we have Volt Switch. Yeah, you already know how it works. I'm just going Route 5 and, uh... She's gonna help us get to Drithvale City, which we weren't able to do. I don't know if I showed it, but you're not able to go to Drithvale City until you beat Elisa. It was an emotional roller coaster! <laughs> Very cool stuff.
All right, so we'll heal up here. And I'm gonna show you my team as of right now. I spent most of today at school level grinding. Instead of doing my work like I should have been doing. <laughs> nah, we weren't doing anything anyway. Except the biology. So here's my team as of right now. Paige, the Boulder at level 28. With Smackdown, Rock Blast, Mud Slap, Headbutt. Pretty decent stats. Next off, Karma the Darumaka at level 26. With Work Up, Fire Punch, Fire Fang, and Headbutt. Decent stats also. We have Dualter, which I didn't actually touch today. I, didn't, I wasn't going to use it. With Tackle, Fury Cutter, Water Gun, Razor Shell, and actually a pretty crappy stat spread. Dig Dug! Level 26, with Metal Claw, Hone Claws, Dig, and Slash. Decent attack, eh, crappy other everything else. And Neku, the Scraggy, at level 28, with Rock Smash, Feign Attack, Payback, and Brick Break. Brick Break will, uh, if someone has Reflect or Light Screen up, it'll hit right through it, and break it. Pretty decent stats, Brad. Very defensive, very offensive. Tim Merton, who I also didn't touch today because I wanted to evolve him on screen. With Chip Away, Wake Up Slap, Rock Throw, and Low Kick. He could do some work, but since he's about to evolve anyway, you know. And that's it. Alright, so I'm going to end the episode here. So, if you liked your saw, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed. If you didn't, please tell me what I could do to fix that. In the next episode, we're going to be going over to Drithvale City and meeting the fifth gym leader. Not doing anything about him, just meeting him. Alright, see you guys next time.